Hello everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I have a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing for us to do today. And I am live. I am in a different location. I am in my bedroom. Goodwill and Blue whoa, box unboxing for us to do. There we go. I have it um, live over here so I can see because in my workroom, for whatever reason, the Wi-Fi is always messing up. And I think it's just something to do with that room because it's streaming in here. I can look clear and I'm very happy about this. So until we figure out what's going on with my office, I'm going to stream from a different location. I'm pulling you closer. Come in closer. All right. I'm going to get cozy. I'm getting cozy in the room, in the workroom. We're going to have a, a good old fashioned dig through the jewelry. And I do have the treasure cam going. I got this set up. Hang on. So you can see the box over here whenever I pull items out and you'll be able to see what they look like up close and personal. So yeah, excited, but kind of miffed because I, I like to keep everything in my workroom. It just makes it a lot easier. But anyway, better, better than nothing, right? If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Margaret. I am a reselling homeschooling mom. I flip things on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace to help support my family. And one of the things that I like to do is open jewelry boxes uh, because jewelry is one of the things that I sell. And Goodwill, I get this question all the time. Um, Goodwill puts out these blue boxes every Friday, I believe they go live at five. I have a stash of them because I bought a bunch a while back and then I just stopped opening them like I was opening them all the time. And then I started branching out doing other things too, uh, more thrift stuff. But uh, anyway, so I had some, long story short, I have some still to open, but you can get them Fridays, goodwillbluebox.com. And uh, you know, this is not a promotional video or anything, but they're just fun. And it is a gamble. I know some people you know, they don't always get great stuff, but it is, you know, got to keep in mind it's a gamble. So yeah, it's, I mean, for fun, I almost always am able to make my money back. Sorry, I'm fiddling with my camera over here because it's just in, in a new location for me. And it's just like, you can see it, bo it's bothering me. I have my computer propped up and it's bothering me. I I'm on a smaller table too. So rah, ugh frustrations, frustrations. Okay. Hi in the chat. If you're here, say, Hey, in the chat, talk to everybody in the chat. Everybody's fantastic and sweet and nice and fun to talk to. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Hello, Kraken reseller. Yay. I'm glad you're here. And okay. So, oh yeah, you, it's coming. I finally got all my stuff boxed up. I, I don't usually broadcast stuff, but my, 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 um, my son was in the hospital, so we were out. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, everything's fine, but we had a, he had, had to have a procedure and end up having to stay in the hospital. It was unexpected, and um, so yeah, things kind of got backed up and behind a little bit over here. I just stabbed myself in the hand with the scissors, but I'm okay. I'm not bleeding. No blood was drawn, but it's all in the name of jewelry, so. All right, I'm, I'm cutting open the box. I should be showing you this. I'm cutting open the box. So, hello from Kansas. Hello, Jules. Oh, and, and speaking of that, since Robin brought it up, um, if you ever see anything in the videos that you want, don't wait for me to list it because I'm super slow at listing stuff. I'm just going to tell you right up front. Um, if you see something you want, just send me an email at texasgaltreasures at gmail.com and we can work out a price and you know send it off into the mail into the so the only thing my my chair i'm so low in this chair yeah okay so let's do first impressions but the first thing we're gonna have to do is focus this because it is very blurry there we go all right so first impressions i see it's bagged which is good it's a good sign this looks like a cool cuff i wonder it looks like a map on it or something i wonder what that's gonna be some fun colors. Let me pull it out of the bag, out of the box that is, and see. Ooh, there we go. Let's see if we can see some more. I see some cool stuff. Some cool bangles. I love bangles. And some enamel, something with enamel over there. Oh, this does look like, like a map, a street map or something. Oh, I'm excited. I see some charms. This is a charm brace, bracelet or maybe some earrings. I don't know. Okay, let's dig in, shall we? 
Yes, we shall. And I, I'm going to get this figured out. So I know the pardon me if I keep fiddling with this for just a minute because I'm going to make it work for us. I have I have it just so in when I'm in my uh, workroom. Hang on, let me zoom in. Maybe that'll help too. Come here, zoom in. There we go. That should help a little bit. Okay, let's get this party started, shall we? All right. How was your what's today? Wednesday? How is your Wednesday going? Okay, first up, this piece, the, a piece of it just popped off in my hand. So that's not a good sign. Uh, it is a necklace. It's vintage, which is cool. Uh, but like I said, this piece just kind of popped off in my hands. But I, uh, is it going to matter? Maybe it won't even matter. No, it matters. Darn it. Uh, the piece that's broken off looks like that. And I guess I could just clamp it, you know. I guess I could get some pliers and just fix it. And then I'll have a nice little necklace here, right? Let's flip it over and see if it's got any kind of maker's marks. I, I don't see any... The lighting in here is not superb. That's another thing. Plus, it's getting dark outside, so well, that's just another thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, on the back of the clasp, it looks like probably a Monet, but let's find out. Let's see. No, it's a Coro. Okay, so this is a Coro necklace. I don't think it would take much. I mean, I don't do repairs generally. If, if something needs repairs, usually I, I just don't, and I'll put it in a lot and somebody else can repair it and that some people enjoy that. Um, but I think this one's a pretty easy fix. So I think I will make the effort to fix this and the finish is okay on it. It's not too messed up. There's a few bits here and there, but overall it looks pretty good. So I am definitely going to try to fix that and get that going. This car is a good, you know, vintage uh, costume brand. So hi, hi in the chat. Hello. I, I got more friends coming in the chat. So let me say the bangle from here. Oh, it looks like subway stops in New York. Okay, cool. I've been to New York once. One time. Hello, hello. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Yeah, clamping it. This one still has a price tag on it. $59. Wow. That's a Talbot's. For real? I mean, I haven't been into Talbot's in a really long time. Do they really sell bracelets like this for $59? I must know. Okay, it's a clamper bracelet with a magnet, a really strong magnet closure, I have to say. And it's got these, you know, enameled panels. Seriously? What do you think? It, I mean, I ask you. I. But anyway, that being said, I can definitely sell it. I don't know if I could sell it for $59, but you never know. I, it's, you know, I'll have to look it up. Cool. Unless that tag just happened to pop on there and randomly connect to that. Okay, here we have got oh, a door necklace. Hang on, some things were falling out of it. All right, so it's got this black chain and then these teardrop kind of like, they're kind of moonstone colored. Um, what color would you call it other than moonstone? They're kind of like this translucent, grayish. I'm not exactly sure <laughs> how to describe pinkish, grayish. Anyway, um, so yeah, double strand. It's nice. Yeah, somebody might like that. Again, not. I haven't put anything on my head in a while. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Oh, it's not bad on the head. I don't know. Like, this is not... Um, I wouldn't normally wear something like this. I think somebody with it, like my my skin, because I'm already so white. I think it just would look weird on me. It would look weird on me. Okay, we got bangles. Who wants to sing the bangle song with me? Ready? Do you know it? Sing along. Little bangles on the hillside. Little bangles made of ticky tacky. Little bangles on the hillside. And they all look just the same. There's a gold one and a gold one. And another gold one. Yeah, there's just three. Okay, so these are kind of fun, these little bangles. Um, I'll probably lot them. I don't usually lot a bunch of stuff, but these look like they probably do pretty well lotted up together. They're all 
the same. There might be more in here. We'll find out. We shall find out. Ooh, what's this? Oh, Tangled. This is when I wish, you know, this when I pre-record, then I, I speed things up. But I can't right now because we're live. So I will, what I'll try to do is pick out things that look like they're going to be a good seller. This this is like a hemp something or other probably. And that's not going to probably be a good seller for me. But look at this. That's silver. Boom. How about that? That looks like a maybe piece of onyx. However, there's some weirdness to the surface of it. We'll have to look into that. Uh, is it silver now? I'm wondering. That looks like it's silver. Doesn't it? Okay, let's keep digging. There's some kind of panel here with a plant. What do you think that is? A uh, palmetto? I don't know. It looks like it's got some kind of palm something on the top. Okay. Oh, so tangly. Not okay. What I want to know is if this is not really, because of that surface, I'm not sure that's really onyx in there. And I'm wondering if this is all like a multi-strand necklace. But there's some other things here that are pretty cool, like that piece. That's on this string. What does that string go to? Oh my gosh, Tangles. This is driving me bonkers. Hang on. Ugh. Yeah, this is the only problem that I generally find when I go live doing these. Because, okay, here's a cool pendant. And this is one of those, I think it's one that's supposed to open, but I don't think this one actually does open. Because normally what would happen is you take the chain off and then it opens, but there's, it's not appear to have any kind of hinge on it. So I think it's just for looks. And we've got a sassy tassel, ready? <laughs> here we go. I didn't hear asking, where's she gonna? Sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Woo! All right, we got the bangles and the tassels. But this chain, here's my confusion. The chain has a Lucky Brand tag on it, but I don't think this originally went on this chain because this is silver tone and the chain's silver tone, but then this Lucky Brand one is gold tone. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Thumbs up for the OG of YouTube. Thank you. I've been around. Well, yeah. Oh, that's an old Talbot's bang, uh, the clamper. Yeah. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Crazy May. Thanks for being here. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have to detangle this later because it looks like later there's some interesting stuff in here, but I am not very patient right now to detangle this for you. Uh, there's an Alex and Annie bracelet here, and I actually just sold one that had a butterfly on it just recently. This one looks like a W, but it does have either green crayon mark or else it's just needing a good cleanup. Let's look at it up high, up close. What do you think? I wonder if I can clean that off because it looks like it's a line of something. I don't know. So we'll see. Well, if I can clean it up, then I'll, I'll list it and try to sell it. And if not, it'll go to a lot, which is okay. All right, next, this, hmm, there's an earring stuck in there, hang on. I mean, I think this is like a high arm cuff because it's too big for, you know, like, like that. But maybe it's one of these numbers that go like high up on somebody's arm, not my arm, but not yet anyway. You know, one that kind of goes up on the arm, does it? I don't know. And you can like clamp it on there and you have more or maybe it's like a shoulder piece what do you think i can make it bigger and make it like a shoulder piece so you don't want it's too hot for a jacket that has you know like sergeant pepper and you want all you want the fringe from the jacket but it's too hot for a jacket but you want that same kind of effect to let people know you mean business right ow and so you clamp it on like so only not you know find a way to not do it painfully like so i need two of them to make my look complete though yeah 
<laughs> yeah, it looks like a belly dancer accessory. True, true. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, boy. More tangles. But we can do this. Here's that bracelet. All right, all right. Let's see. Y'all were saying maybe it's New York. Do I have it upside down? I can't even tell. Are the numbers going right? There's a marking there. Here's the problem. I can't see. Uh, thoughts? I'm going to hold it up. Here we go. Hold it up high for you. Oh, there's Broadway and Lafayette. Um, World Trade Center. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like it's probably New York. Cool. And there is a website on there, so I can check it out. Cool. All right, I think that's something that will for sure sell. Definitely. Uh, oh, you finally got a tiara in your thread up. Nice. I have one in my workroom that I got. I think I were here when I when I got that. Okay. That must have been. Okay, we've got a little detangling to do some nice brooches, some fun little. We've got a reindeer, probably some kind of reindeer. We've got an M. This is a pendant, though. So we're going to look at that closer because that looks promising. So set that to the side. We'll bring those back here in a second. Uh, we've got this black necklace, just sort of like this black beaded number. So that'll probably just go to a lot because I don't, I don't generally sell. Do y'all sell stuff like that? I mean, I guess I could. All right. Let me kind of, here's another a stick pin. This one says Mary. Any Marys in the chat? Mary, if you are a Mary, what is the most annoying Mary thing people say to you? Like, do they say the, the nursery rhyme or do they like sing Beastie Boys at you or, you know, what's the most annoying Mary thing? I have an Aunt Mary, so this is another reason. I, maybe I should ask her. Okay, some more here. Y'all scoot over. There's a palette necklace. We'll come back. I'll, I'm going to look at these closer in just a second. I'm just trying to just pull them apart. These are coming apart a little easier than some of the others. Oh, look. Fairy wishes. There's a, oh, come on now. You are a cute necklace, and I don't know why you want to give me trouble. There. Oh, come on. So that's pretty cute. It's got like a fairy dust in it, and then it's also got planets and stars. That's really cute. That will sell. Oh my goodness. I know some people just love, they get in the tangles and they just zen out, right? This is a cool little anklet, bracelet. And I am not one of those people that zens out with the tangles. It makes me crazy. This is why when I do it on the fast forward, so you don't hear me cursing. <laughs> I don't technically, I, I just, blast music and try to like take myself to another place okay here we go let's look at all this stuff some of it's just kind of like meh junk i'm gonna throw it over there not waste your time with it there is this chain that's just like a gold tone chain um but yeah probably just gonna put that into a lot Ugh. okay and then this cool little i'm guessing it's an anklet it's kind of big for a bracelet but it could be a bracelet and then this kind of modern looking pendant on it. That's kind of nice. That might sell. And then I was showing you this a second ago. The little fairy charm, fairy bracelet or necklace rather. And it's got all these little charms and a little bottle of fairy dust. That's super cute. I think that's something that could sell. This one, that'll probably just go into a lot. Hello. Oh, thanks, Becky. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Hi. Okay, and then this one, I'm wondering if we'll find a maker on it. I don't see one. Okay, that's cool. And then there's just like a random chain, which is nice because sometimes you just need a chain for a pendant that you've got. It is magnetic. And let's see. Okay, we're coming back to Mary. The Mary pin is magnetic so but this will still sell i mean that's pretty cool then the 
deer, or I guess it's a deer, it's not a reindeer. Is it? What do you think? It's just a deer. Look at how it's holding its legs. Like it's got to pee and it just is too embarrassed to say. It's like, come on, man, just send me back to the woods. Well, the pressure's on now. Okay, uh, I don't see a mark. Why are his legs like that? Seriously, I don't know. Okay, and now let's take a look at this. So this M pendant, it is magnetic, but it's still pretty nice. I could put it on that other gold chain probably if it'll fit through that loop. We'll see. Yeah. And then there's this necklace, which is a long, like silver barrel bead necklace that's got some different, some different glass beads and what do you think that's some kind of, I mean, I would say it's like a pumice because of all the holes in it. Do you think? What do you think? You look like little moons, don't you? Don't you think? They're cute. <laughs> oh, he could be doing the bee's knees dance. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you. Okay. There is a, a couple, there are a couple earrings, I should say. This one's nice. I really hope the mate's there. So that's a nice, like black faceted stones. Plastic, probably. I don't know. And then this one is a nice little earring. And I'm wondering, it might be silver. So hopefully the mate's there. Like a little minimalist hoop. Hoop. Okay. Then we've got another of these like Talbots. If it really is a Talbots, we'll find out. Bengal. It does not have the tag. Looks like there's a little bit of stuff that needs to be cleaned up right there. But it looks pretty nice. I bet I can clean that up. Uh, let's see. Let me pull out a handful of stuff here. All right, next. Let me know if you see anything. This bracelet's kind of cool. Let me see if I can get it unhooked. Unhook you. Okay. I like that. It's got these different glass beads. There's definitely some bonus here there for us. Ew, I just vacuumed my carpet today, I know. But I really like these like kind of fall autumn colors, the greens, yellows, oranges, reds. That's really pretty. That's something that for sure will sell. That's nice. Then this is really small, but this is, I always get this wrong. Y'all are going to have to correct me, but it's unkinite, unikite. Anyway, it's the green and the pink stone. Unikite? Unkinite? I always say it wrong. And now I can't remember which way was the right way and which one's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Uh, let's see. Hello, hello. Are y'all talking in the chat? So this stuff will probably just go to a lot. However, this this one says it's a Pandora. Oh, it, or does it? Yeah, it does. But the other end of it is totally broken off. So that doesn't, it wouldn't matter anyway, or would it? Then we've got this bracelet. It worries me that these hoops or the links are kind of open, but maybe they're supposed to be like that. They're not coming out, but they're all like that. So maybe it's supposed to be that way. Anyway, it's a really chunky chain. There is a tag there. We're looking at, I can't even read it. I don't know why I pretend. From this far away this is a j crew i was going to guess that and i didn't want to be wrong so a cool j crew oh kind of open link which is weird yeah um <laughs> unikite unikite yeah <laughs> thank y'all i always say it wrong and someone always jumps on me oh well all right then this is just like a frame maybe it came off of a watch or another piece a jewelry. I'm wondering if it's uh, Vermeil, because I, I was noticing on, I saw some tarnish. Where did it go? I saw a bit of tarnish. So I'm going to look at this a little closer in a sec right now and see if I see any kind of marks on it. Oh, you can't, you can't see. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'll look at it more in a second because it's, yeah, it's not magnetic. And there's a little bit of tarnish showing through. So I'm going to look at cl that closer in a minute. All right. Nice little stretchy bracelet. What else have we got over here? 
<clears throat> this is, this will probably just go to a lot as well. And this looks like maybe like a little Claire's bracelet with a little horse on it. So far, not any big wows yet, but that's okay. We still have a bit to go. You know, a couple little mm, things here and there that just probably go to a lot. And hang on, let me see. Do y'all know this one? This fabric one, it's got this button. Hang on, I'm going to hold it up high so you can see it. Okay. Is that something? I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. Probably not. Probably not. It looks like it's something somebody made. Okay, and then we've got this cool chain knot necklace. This one looks like it's in pretty good shape. So this is one I'll, I'll probably try to sell. Yeah. All right. Then here we go. Look at this one. Oof. I'm going to zoom back a little bit. Or maybe I'll just hold it up. Hang on. There we go. It's very colorful. All the pinks and turquoises. It's, you know, like going to be one of those that sits like at the base of the throat. But somebody will definitely like that. Yep. <laughs> All right. Next, we've got a multi-metal cuff. It looks a bit rough around the the bottom part. Like, it looks like somebody made it. But I still think it might sell. It's very distressed, you could say. Almost like a brutalist. Would you count this as a brutalist? I, maybe. Why not? I'll throw that in there. I'll try to sell it. Then we've got this little wavy clamper bracelet, and it looks like all the stones are there. I don't see any maker's marks in there, but maybe I'll try to sell it. Of course, my phone starts going off all at one time. Okay. All right, so next we've got this crazy long i'm gonna have to hold it up because my camera's not gonna be long enough crazy long 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 chain i guess for doubling or not tripling however you want to do it that's cool really super long gold tone chain necklace and <laughs> Of course, it's not magnetic, but the odds of it being actually gold are slim. And let's find the clasp on it. There's the clasp. Let's see what it says. Nothing on that side. Let me flip it over. And nothing on that side either. Yeah, it's just a cool gold tone necklace. I mean, it's not magnetic, so it, I'll probably put it in my gold pile to test, even though I don't think it is. But if it was and I didn't test it, how bad would I feel? Very. Okay, so then we've got some like random earrings and looks like maybe a napkin ring. Cool. If the set's there, napkin rings can sell, y'all. Let's see. Let's look at this earring. I'm gonna look at this one closer too. Let's let's grab the magnet on it. Nope. Okay, it's magnetic. Moving on. <clears throat> oh boy. Are we getting trolls in the chat? Let's take care of that. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Let's pull out some more stuff, shall we? Here's some more stuff. Here we've got. I guess it's a, oh no, look, it's getting pulled apart. Oh boy. Well, it was a rose brooch, but it got caught up on this chain. Oh my gosh, look how glorious this is. That doesn't go to that, so we're going to come back to that in a second. Ah, frustrations, tangles. I want this gold one off there though. We're going to look at that in a second. Okay, but look at this ring. It's one of these knuckle rings two knuckles, 
to in your face give you a, a leaf. All right, but that's got some tarnish, so it'll just go to a lot. Um, what have we got here? So this is looks like a, a nice little. This is the charm. The charms I was seeing in there, right? It's like a little nautical charm bracelet with beads, colorful. It's cute. How's the stretch? Stretch is pretty good on this one. It's bouncing back pretty good. This is one I might actually sell because it's pretty cute. That is cute. All right. Then we've got another. This is interesting. Okay, so it's a lapel pin, right? But then it's got this dangling. Hang on. <laughs> Here it comes. Um, hang on one second. Bloop. It's got this like dangling it almost looks like a signet and it spins does it spin that doesn't actually does it spin hang on i can't tell if it's moving no no it doesn't move um but it looks you know like a signet like they would use for wax but it's not it doesn't move what do you make of that that's different i've never seen anything quite like it hmm interesting interesting okay Oh, okay. That's a good tip. She says, I sell crystals and a lot of customers use napkin rings as stands for their spheres. Pretty ones can sell by themselves that way. Oh, good, good, um, good tip. I never thought of that. Thanks. Okay. There are some cool things in this naughty, naughty, naughty mess. This is probably going to go to a lot because the wear is rubbing off on it. We've got a sweater clip here. I'll probably try to sell that. It's pretty standard. People like those. And they don't sell for a ton, but, you know, unless you find a really cool one. This necklace is pretty cool. Hang on. Let me get it laid out for you. Ah, uh, I mean, that's an easy fix. I just need a little jump ring right there. I feel like I made it too bright. There we go. You know, but it's a nice kind of like festooning, bib style. Would you call it festooning and bib? Would you use both of those words? I might. But I just need to grab a jump ring. From something and fix that real fast. That's an easy fix. We've got another bangle, which everything wants to be around. Mm, I might, I don't know. I'll probably just put this in a lot. It's okay, but eh. okay. There's a really, really, really cool necklace here. There's a nice earring. I hope the mate's there because I like that. And this looks like a little silver heart charm. Let me grab, oh, it's a, it's a little bracelet. Okay. It's like a little charm bracelet with a toggle clasp. The chain is magnetic. The silver heart is not. I don't, I don't see anything inscribed on it, but that's cool. If nothing else, I can take the little heart off, clean it up, either sell it, or put it in my uh, silver scrap. <clears throat> okay, but this, okay, this stuff. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this glorious fish. Oh, it opens y'all. Look at, there's a hinge. So this fish, look at all that like swirly, twirly filigree. Can you call it filigree if it's not see-through? I think you can. Your blue eye. Okay, let's open it up and see what's inside, shall we? Oh, please don't be something alive or weird. One, two, three. Okay, nope. What do you think it's going to be? Perfume? Perfume! So cool. Let me smell it. Hmm. It smells old. Okay, very cool. Oh, no maker's marks. So I'll have to look over it a little bit closer to see if um, yeah, if there's, you know, because a few different companies have made these like pressed perfumes like Avon, Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder ones can sell for a lot of money. So I'll have to look it over real carefully to see. Some of the little Estee Lauder ones can, can really fetch a pretty penny. All right, and then that will go to a lot. Okay, let's see what else we've got in here. Here we go. 
up some more coolness. Oh, that looks really pretty. So I think we've got some, some stuff definitely to make a profit on this. Okay. So oh, this is a nice little vintage bracelet. I think it's vintage unless somebody pulled it together. So it's got this really cool, almost like a clam type clasp. It's got a like a box clasp inside of it. I did see a mark on the back. I, I feel like maybe both of these strands are not original. I don't know. What do you think? And this, oh, it's J. Crew. It looks vintage, but it's not. Unless, I mean, I guess there is vintage J. Crew, but it, it looks made to look like it's much older. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's something I can sell for sure. For sure. We've got an earring here. All right. Oh, here's a ring. It's a nice little pink ring. And I did bring my mandrel. Mandrel, who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, then you are it. It is a size five and a half. You know, which is a little kind of pinkish stone. It looks like it's gotten smashed on top, though. It's smashed. <clears throat> And then this is a nice little, I like the colors on this, the orange and the yellow. Stretch is, it's not quite stretching back. Like I stretch it out and it doesn't quite stretch back, you see? So that's one that the stretch is probably going to end up breaking at some point, not in the too, just too far future. So probably won't sell that one. This is a cool one. It looks like all the stones are there and it's got this, oh, how do you open it? Oh boy, here we go. Can she do it? Yes, I did it. That's kind of cool. Got a nice little clasp there. That's one I can definitely sell. Very, very cool. Earring. That is just another. What else have we got here? Got another little ring. It's got these little spikies on it. I don't see any marks inside. Not magnetic so I'll give it a, a look over again then we've got this really cool vintage Christmas tree brooch I like that a lot that's pretty cool definitely gonna sell that one I don't see oh wait or do I there is something right there on this little cartouche let me find my loop I just had it there it is it's, um, it looks like an IJ. I mean, I know JJ, like Johnette, but this does not look like a, J, a Johnette jewelry. But it does look like a JJ, doesn't it? Maybe it is. Because usually most of the Johnette stuff that I find is like silver tone or pewter. That's pretty awesome, though. I'm going to look it up. Oh, my fingers are filthy. Filthy. Okay, but what have we here? Look at this necklace, y'all. So it's got these faceted black stones. Oh, it's missing one. Oh, no, it's not. It's supposed to be that way. And then it's got these chains, which I really like, and a toggle clasp. And that's also a, what does it say on there? Monet. That almost looks like silver or silver plate, though. Hang on. Let me grab my magnet flip it doesn't it i mean monet does silver right i'm gonna look it over because it definitely looks silver here look at this bracelet while i'm looking for the right it said monet yep that's a monet <clears throat> i'm gonna have to look it over more carefully because it definitely looks if you look at it I mean, you can see how it's tarnishing up right let's see if i rub it if it gets shinier yeah see compared to this one it definitely looks either silver or like a silver plate doesn't it don't you think so yeah i'll have to give it another once over because i know that there are some monet pieces oh that's missing a stone right there though where is it? No, I think it is right there. Yep. Okay, we'll figure it out. 
We shall figure it out. Okay, then there's this sweet little pearl bracelet and it's got a little box clasp. That's sweet, I'll sell that. All right, let me dump this real fast. Over here. All right, let's see what goodies we got. Let's bring out part of it, not all of it. Got some more treasures at the bottom. Oh, look, there's a bracelet to go with that Monet um, necklace. Pretty, right? It's so pretty. Nice. And then we've got this little golden colored ring. Let's see. I see a seam. Seams are usually not good when it comes to to that. Oh, we've got a nice painted cameo style. That's really pretty. I wonder if she's from a famous painting. I'll have to do a, a reverse image search on her. Do y'all know this? Hmm. I don't know this one. Very cool, though. Yeah, that's definitely something to sell. And here, this is an interesting bracelet. It's all blingy. Let me hold it up so y'all can see it up high. Like so. And if there's no... Can't get it on there you go if there are no little stones missing that's that's a really fun one. Oh, i like it i like it i can't get it off right Ta -da, like so i love it okay and then back down here cute little ladybug ring and it looks like it might be no maybe not i thought maybe it was like on a little silver band but it, i don't think so after all but it's still a nice little ladybug ring that's cute i'll look it over again just in case sweet oh that's a shoe clip we'll have to see if the the back um if the other one's in there see how it's got this clamp i guess you could use it as a dress clip too those prongs would really bite into it though but yeah it's it's a shoe clip and usually you know you'll have two of them have you sold any solo shoe clips? Buttons, bonus hair, little, what else have we got here? What else? Some barrettes. There's a little painted scarab that came off of something. And a medal, praying hands medal. And then this looks like a little angel nurse. Cool. All right. Let me pour out the rest and see. I mean, she didn't have any like, well, not yet. She spoke too soon. Um, so far, we haven't had any like, wow, gold or, but they're still, we're still in the bottom, right? There's always stuff in the bottom, hopefully. Uh, oh, there's the mate for this one. Cool. So here are these earrings. These are clip-on. They're pretty big, but I think I'll probably try to sell those. Those are pretty fun. Pretty fun. And um, oh, there's a mate for that one. I did like that, that earring. The mate is there now. Yay. Well, here are some earrings. Those are kind of nice. Those look like they're they're probably silver. Hang on, move over, bacon. We got something leaner. So yeah, it looks like some maybe silver medallion style with some blue stones in them. Oh, they're not like real stone stones. They have a foil backing. It might just be. But look how long those. Look how long that is. That's pretty cool. I would think that would age them or date them, but with the foil backing on the stone, I'm not so sure. Maybe though. That's pretty cool though. Hmm. Pretty cool. And we got a Humane Society keychain and a little charm bracelet with some angels. Well, we're running out. Oh, we still have that ring to look at. This is kind of a cool, 
it feels cheapy though. Like it looks cool. The colors are cool, but it like really feels just like plasticky. It does. And what else here? I don't know. Just little bits, little bits. Okay. Let's look at this ring. We're saving it. We're saving it. All right. So there's this cool ring. Let me hold it up high or zoom in. One or the other has to happen. It's got these black faceted stones. Do we see any? There's something written on the inside. Let me get my loop and find out what it is. It's got a 925 and a word over here. Let me read it. I can't read it. Even with my loop. Hang on. I think it's just that the lighting's bad. Looks like it's a W or JWBR. I don't know what that means. JWBR. But it's a pretty little cocktail ring. Yeah, somebody will definitely like that. Um, let's get my mandrel. Mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? It is a size almost seven, like six and three quarters. <clears throat> do I still do auctions on YouTube or just so right now I'm just selling on um eBay? <clears throat> oh, there's a bracelet here I didn't show y'all. Um, eBay and Etsy and those platforms. I haven't done an auction in a bit, but maybe I should try to. Let's see. Oh, here, hang on. Ooh. It's got pink, and then it turns to blue, and then it turns to green. And it's a fold-over style clasp little bracelet. That's sweet. I think so. That's nice. Let me grab my magnet on that one too. It is not magnetic, but I don't know. Yeah. I'll have to give it a once over in a little bit and look at it a little more carefully and see. Because there is some tarnish on the clasp. So it might be silver or silver plated, one or the other. Hmm. We'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> there were a few cool pieces here. A couple things that I'll test that I'm like, maybe, maybe they're gold, but mm, probably not. Uh, I mean, there's nothing that's like so wow that I'm like, that was the winner. Look at these gold balls. Anyway, um, yeah. But it was fun. It was a fun box. And there were definitely some things I can sell. And I will definitely make money. That's the important thing, right? I'm going to make money on the box. And I get to hang out with you. So that's awesome, too. All right. I, I hope you guys... What other metals other than silver and gold aren't magnetic? Like, like stainless steel? Lots of things. I just like to check, though. If I, like, say this necklace that wasn't magnetic... I don't think it's really gold. One, because um, it's very heavy for its size. So that's that's a, a tell for me that it's probably not going to be gold because gold is pretty light metal. <clears throat> but, you know, it doesn't hurt for me to like throw it in my pile and test it with everything else, you know, uh, when I'm at it. Okay. I hope you all have a really great evening. I'm looking to see like, did I miss anything? Did I forget anything? No. I think I got all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, well. What's that? Maybe I didn't. Oh, it's a kiwi. It's a kiwi on a, a, a stick. All right. I hope you guys have a great evening, and I will uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Bye.